Okay, so now you do the first layers kind of like your base layer. And we are going to make a really pretty design. It's so simple, but yet people find this fascinating when they come into my house. And they also think that I am a sociopath, that I take the time to do this once a month. But you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. And people always ask, do I replace them every time someone eats one? No, I'm not crazy. I'm just organized every 30 days. I actually get excited when they start to diminish because that means people like them. So you just keep stacking. Every week I get a bunch of fresh produce, then I wash it really well before putting it away so it's all ready to eat. The containers I use have layers so the extra water drains out and the produce won't go bad. With lettuce specifically, I also dry it in a salad spinner before adding it to a container to make it stay fresh longer. I'm really into red and green leaf lettuce right now. I probably go through like 20 limes and lemons each week because I use them on literally everything. They add so much healthy flavor. Since portobellos aren't a grab and go snack, I don't find it necessary to wash them. I just remove the stem and wash when I'm ready to cook. I also love to add my plant milk to these super cute glass milk cartons because it just looks really nice and aesthetic in the fridge, which weirdly makes me happy. Okay, so now you do the first layers kind of like your base layer. And we are going to make a really pretty design. It's so simple, but yet people find this fascinating when they come into my house and they also think that I am a sociopath, that I take the time to do this once a month. But you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. And people always ask, do I replace them every time someone eats one? No. I'm not crazy. I'm just organized every 30 days. I actually get excited when they start to diminish because that means people like them. So you just keep stacking until you get to the top. Oh. Okay, so now you do the first layers kind of like your base layer. And we are going to make a really pretty design. It's so simple, but yet people find this fascinating when they come into my house. And they also think that I am a sociopath, that I take the time to do this once a month. But you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. And people always ask, do I replace them every time someone eats one? No, I'm not crazy. I'm just organized every 30 days. I actually get excited when they start to diminish because that means people like them. So you just keep stacking until you get to the top. Oh. I'm so excited about our new fridge. We have not had an ice maker or water in our fridge in so many months. So I just finished putting everything away. It's so organized. I got these cute little containers to organize everything all over the place. There's even like a little egg container and it has this cute little um, herb drawer and there's like a produce drawer. And there's this drawer for whatever you want it to be, but I have meat in it. And these drawers are like super awesome. And the freezer's awesome. There's like three drawers for this too. And I'm just so excited. I tried to use up as much food as I possibly could before grocery shopping so that I could transform my fridge. I took everything out of my fridge, went through all the products, and cleaned the fridge before adding in these awesome organizers. I then printed out labels myself and put them on each of the bins so that everything was labeled and had a home. When it was all done and looking beautiful, I actually decided to rearrange the shelves and the organizers until I found a system that worked. My biggest tip for organizing is to make sure that you keep trying new things until you find a setup that really works for you and your family. When everything was set, I then went to the grocery store and got my normal groceries and stocked my fridge. The end product was absolutely amazing and I am so happy with the results. Follow me for more organization and click the link in my bio to find all of these products. I was in need of a serious fridge clean out. So I took everything out, got rid of things that were expired or old. From there, I decided to clean it really well. So I used Mrs. Myers and my magic erasers, took some drawers out and washed them separately until it was really clean. I bought some clear containers off of Amazon and then put everything back nice and organized. And I love the way it looks now.
Okay, so now you do the first layers kind of like your base layer. And we are going to make a really pretty design. It's so simple, but yet people find this fascinating when they come into my house. And they also think that I am a sociopath, that I take the time to do this once a month. But you know what? You say OCD is a disease, I say it's a blessing. And people always ask, do I replace them every time someone eats one? No, I'm not crazy. I'm just organized every 30 days. I actually get excited when they start to diminish because that means people like them. So you just keep stacking until you get to the top. Oh.